All right, here we go. We're going to uh, create a guardian real quick. I want to go ahead and pick a uh, dwarf. And as you can see, it's got over here on the right, you've got your um, available glasses and the different types of what the uh, attributes of dwarf actually gets. So um, <clears throat> go ahead and click continue here and click Guardian. And then you'll get your little description of the Guardian here. Roll tank. Ability to wear heavy armor and defensive skills enables the Guardian to face creatures that would make other heroes morale fail. Uh, so, And you can actually play the movie if you would like. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that right at the moment. So we'll continue on to the next screen. And here's where you would pick your name. And as with my little thing, all of my characters all ended B-O-R, but that's just so people know who I am, but that's another story. And picking the origins, you can pick the White Mountains, uh, and gives an explanation as to where your character is actually from. I usually uh, pick the Lonely Mountain, uh, just something about uh, my extreme love for the Hobbit, I would suppose. <laughs> but you can change once you actually uh, get around to... Uh, you can go through and be really specific about what you want to do, how you want your uh, features to look, and all I've noticed on the dwarves is it changes their nose. It doesn't really seem to change much else. <laughs> and then, of course, you can change the eyes, you can scroll around, flip your character around, turn around and look. Um, so we'll just randomize it a couple of times and see if we find anything that we kind of like. That one's not bad. We'll change the hair color a little bit. And that seems pretty good to me. And then you can always change the body type and decide whether you want a big thick dwarf or a fat dwarf. You know, all the way up is muscular and all the way down is pretty pudgy, basically. So, you know, it's I usually go about halfway and, you know, it's all personal preference as to what you want your character to look like. Um, you can change your hair and your beard and some of your facial features at a barber later in the game but we'll uh, get to that then. And I'm going to click Skip New User Tutorial. Uh, if you're new to the game, you may not want to do that. Uh, it basically will be a nice little informative thing, tell you how the controls work, things of that nature. So, now you've got your character all picked out, you've got his name, you click Enter Middle Earth. And as long as the name isn't taken, it'll create a character and it will move you straight into the game.